بسم اللہ میں السلام علیکم پاکستان ویلکم بیک ٹو کارپوریٹ گورننس وی بین ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ کرپشن از ڈفرنٹ فارمز اینڈ ایلیمنٹس اینڈ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو موو فارورڈ ود اے ویری انٹرسٹنگ ٹاپک سم تھنگ وچ از ویری کرنٹ اینڈ دیٹ از ایکسیس ٹو انفارمیشن ہیونگ ای گورمنٹ اینڈ آلسو اوپن ڈیٹا ناؤ لیڈیز اینڈ جنرمن وین ایور وی ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ فریڈم آف انفارمیشن دین وی ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ اکاؤنٹیبلٹی اینڈ آلسو دا کربنگ آف کرپشن بیسڈ اپان دا انفارمیشن دیٹ وی ہیو Now, when we are talking about the information that we have, unless we have access to information, then how are we going to get that information? So, therefore, there's a very uh, weak relationship between all of this, and it's very important to have the right uh, legislature and then also the right institutions. Now, when we talk about uh, freedom of information or access to information, uh, then uh, way back uh, in uh, 2001, uh, there was the Information uh, Freedom Ordinance, and everyone I thought that it will be very well welcome because it would create an open government uh, and institutions would be more open to each other and more, maybe more flexible and more tolerant. However, unfortunately, what we see is, is that there was a reaction and then uh, there were many strikes which took place uh, near Shimla Pahari, Lahore. And then when it was found out, it was found out that the press basically uh, was uh, against information freedom ordinance. And when further research was done, then it was found out that Uh, the Council for Pakistan Newspaper Editors and the All Pakistan Newspaper Society collectively did not want it to be imposed. And the reason basically was, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, as such per se, the law was okay, but uh, because the law is never in isolation and there are different implications which take place, uh, so there was also an amendment of the Pakistan Penal Code, uh, section uh, 499-501. And in that what happened was, was that the amount of fine and imprisonment uh, was increased. Uh, and therefore, the media said that that is not going to be allowed because then uh, that would be directly uh, imposed upon them. But that is not it. If there's a responsible media, then those fines and that imprisonment cannot be uh, informed. And therefore, uh, it's very important to understand that as citizens uh, of uh, Pakistan or as global citizens, one must stand up for uh, freedom of information uh, and e-government and open data so that everyone uh, tends to understand what is happening and uh, what good is happening and what is going wrong. That becomes very, very important. Now, ladies and gentlemen, when we talk about access to information, then Article 13.1b of UNCAC requires state parties to promote the active participation of citizens and civil society organizations in the fight against corruption. So what we see is, is that uh, even the United Nations uh, Convention uh, on uh, Anti-Corruption talks about uh, how uh, we ha can have better access to information. And that would uh, basically be a very big barrier against corruption, extortion, and other forms of corruption. Procedures that enable the public to obtain information about the public administration that facilitates the exposure of corruption. So again, uh, that is very important that dedicated institutions should be there, just like in, in Punjab, uh, we have the uh, Punjab uh, Information, information Council, uh, which basically ensures that anyone requiring information about the government of Punjab has that access over there. But most people don't even know about it. So uh, again, that's a paradox that on one hand, you create an institution, and then on the other hand, people not aware about it. So how are you going to uh, bridge uh, both together? So that is also extremely important. Then it's always like this, that if someone is uh, abroad, then uh, that also, all that information uh, which is coming in, uh, that can also be accessed through uh, UNCSE. And what we are seeing is that now uh, uh, the uh, United Nations Office on Drugs and Crimes has, cre has created another platform, uh, which is called the GRACE platform. And that is uh, basically global resource for anti-corruption uh, education to ensure that everyone has access to case studies, to laws, to, uh, to research studies, to surveys and different things so that everyone uh, can in uh, tandem and cohesion with each other fight against this very big curse which is called uh, corruption and that uh, can be achieved through uh, the access to information and uh, free information. The Right to Access Information Act 2017 in Pakistan enabled people to pursue their right to information regarding any public official uh, and procedure. So what we see is that finally we have this law in place And now it's just a matter of a little bit of effort to get what information you need. And then also to blow the whistle so that uh, anyone who's doing any wrongdoing, uh, it is the responsibility of the state that it basically curbs it and ensures uh, that all the stakeholders uh, do not get damaged in the whole process. So we have that. Then when we're talking about e-government and open data, then uh, very importantly what we see is that the people just think that if there are computers or laptops, then uh, that becomes e-government. No, not at all. Actually... In Pakistan, we do have some good, uh, some good examples of e-government uh, and e-governance. Basically, we see uh, how uh, uh, the uh, ID cards or the passport uh, or uh, for that matter, for driving license, uh, for paying of utility bills, 
for lodging uh, a complaint to see how different departments are working. So all of this now is available and that is excellent because earlier on it was thought that it would not be there. Many things are being uh, computerized just like the parts of the lands, uh, agricultural lands that is also being uh, computerized and therefore uh, better results are basically emerging. Then we also have open data charter and that basically means that uh, it's not necessary that uh, we uh, only go to specific uh, solution providers, we can go to anyone. Uh, and an open government uh, partnership, so again, uh, whereby the opposition uh, and the government work hand in hand for the betterment of Pakistan and also to have uh, a very strong face in front of uh, all the powers of to be that no one can compromise uh, our national security and our national assets. So uh, that is also very important. And open data for, for development, which is uh, OD4D, and that is also a very important uh, global initiative. Uh, Alpha MD website based Moldova as an example of OD4D and also the ProZoro system in Ukraine. So these are some uh, very good examples uh, which tend to exist. And again, what we see is, is that there is a great need to further channelize and catalyze uh, e-governance so that uh, just like across the border in India, what we see is that uh, hundreds and hundreds of government services are now available uh, on, in the virtual world and through a process, uh, anything can be uh, processed in a better way. And that basically makes the government more efficient and uh, more effective. So that is very important and therefore uh, there is a great need for e-government and also uh, provision of open data. Thank you so much.